Hey, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, we have Galaxy Opal Rudy LaRusso here. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys smash the like button down below. My man's is looking to be like a six foot eight like forward version of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, which is awesome. Um, and I'm saying that because they both have the jump shot 21 base on very quick, which is awesome. It's actually a really nice jumper. Uh, one that I haven't really used too much this year, other than obviously on Kareem and on, I guess, Sam Mitchell. Uh, he's like a trouble throw online reward that I had to get some XP with. They're the only guys I tried it out on. But either way, Rudy LaRusso being that six foot eight guy is going to be absolutely insane. You can see the defense is juicy on him. Uh, if we go through and look at the stats, they made my guy a demon. Uh, he has almost 3,000 total stats, which is crazy. Um, post game is going amazing and 90 post fade and post hook, which is awesome. Also, have an 89 midi, 89 three point shot, an 85 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk, and 88 free throw. We can speed boost and. Uh, Cheese real nice, which is awesome. And then for our defense, 88 block, 88 steal, 88 perimeter defense, and a 90 interior, which is just insane. Really good rebounding as well. Um, a good speed, a good speed with ball of an 86, and a good acceleration. Although, I would like to see a speed with ball shoot on him, so I might throw one of those on myself. Um, and then when it comes to our badges, has 32 of them all of fame. Um, and has a lot of really good, really key ones. You know, catch and shoot, post boom technician on a forward. This can be pretty good. Highlight film, pick dodger, clamps, heart crusher, interceptor, intimidator. Like, you guys know, these are some big, some nice badges. Circus threes, deep threes, like, just everything amazing uh, is on Rudy. And then 33 gold as well. Just not one of those, like, yeah, he looks like an opal, but when you have 32 Hall of Fame badges, you're definitely, like, leaning into that dark matter. Especially when you mix that with 3,000 total stats. It's crazy. Uh, we are going to be doing a game of limited in this one, just so you guys know. I've played, like, 9, 10 games. Still haven't got a ring, so we're going to have to grind that out. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, like it and subscribe. Now let's hop into the freestyle and check out Rudy LaRusso and all of his wonderful animations. All right, so here we are with Rudy and you can see the one negative that you guys know I'm going to talk about is that hot zone up at the top of the uh, three-point arc. That is a, I don't want to say like a major three-point spot, but it's definitely one of the bigger ones. It's obviously one that we're going to want um, out there um, to help us boost, but it is what it is. And you can see Jump Shot 21 is a jumper that they usually don't give to too many people. Cause it's actually pretty nice it's i don't know it's similar to some other jumpers that we have in the game but it's i don't know it's just it's interesting i like it you know i don't i don't mind it especially when you put that very quick timing on it i think everybody's kind of bound to like it and it makes this uh rudy larusso i think one of the only cards that i would recommend going up and getting out of the exchange obviously i did it myself so I'm going to recommend it to you. But I had a bunch of wayne embrys from previous that really uh made the decision to lock these in a lot easier <laughs> like a lot easier plus i mean he's an amazing a uh, little small forward i kind of needed a better one because quad plays too but either way um the one thing that's a little bit tough on rudy and you guys haven't seen it yet for a reason is the fact that he doesn't have the curry slide uh we have pro three in both of those the size up basic and the size of escape uh which is pretty tough has pro four for his moving cross which is gonna be pretty solid if we're being honest pro four for his moving behind the back um which is solid like nothing amazing about his dribbling moves i wouldn't call them like insane but they're definitely not bad um, by any means like they're good they're good if you know what you're doing still with dribbling you can definitely make it work um has a long athlete layup package as well which you guys will see right here looking at nice and gorgeous and just a great card overall i mean you guys know um rudy larusso from last year if you played the card was a demon he was free and he was absolutely insane one of those guys that you just had to pick up um and this one this year is no different um the only bad thing that i don't like about rudy the leaner it's big uh it, it's not a great one it's not one that i love so that's pretty tough but either way we can work around that with just jump shot 21 so without further ado let's get that last green and let's hop right into the gameplay with rudy larusso all right here we are looks like wendell carter jr versus mo bamba one of the new um reward centers which is actually looking pretty good thaddeus young in there at the power forward i would expect no less and oh trying to get cheesy with some three pointers in the catch and shoot territory and then opal john wall in there i'm uh, looking good overall nice team but it doesn't look like we have too insane of a matchup right there oh take cook getting cheesy with it good shot right there but it doesn't look like we have too cheesy of a matchup right now i think it's steven novak it might be or maybe duncan robinson um that is in here guarding our man Rudy LaRusso, who is going to get cheesy with it. Jump. Oh, and a jump shot 21 knock turned into a green right there. But if it double teams, maybe a little harder, but not too bad. 
Oh, there we go. Rudy playing some good defense right there on Duncan Robinson. He's got the ball right now. Oh, well, John Wall stepping too far down. And there we go. The White's falling for us. Three quick points right there. I may switch Rudy on the wall because Killian Hayes is probably going to have a tough time with it. Yeah, we're, we're going to switch on Rudy there. But overall, once I think we get that, we should be good. So now back to Rudy. See if he's going to be running at it with the double teams. Probably a little bit. Nope. Not even moving with Duncan Robinson. There we go. Around the screen. And oh, man. The whites are falling today. Usually doesn't happen. But definitely going to need to lock this down. Ooh, terrible pass. Let's throw Rudy on the wall. And now we're looking all set for the future of the game. All right. Let's get Rudy back here. He's trying to run away way too soon. And whoop. Run around. Duncan is getting lost in a sauce. And there's the green with Rudy. Nine points right there. A three-point lead. And basically... It's all about John Wall and Thaddeus Young for this guy, which doesn't surprise me, but still interesting. Wendell Carter could not check it from that far. Just uh, was not aware of where his player was. And now we can get fouled by Cook. Okay, so we're going to put his mic on uh, when he paused so he could say a little something and then left the match. We're going to have to load a do the game unlimited. Hopefully, this one will give us a ring. And what do you know? The very first pick right in the middle is our ring. It's exactly what we wanted from Rudy LaRusso. He gave us the ring unlimited, which is awesome. I uh, just have to load another one and see what's going on. Over there in that one. Let's go. All right, there we go. David Robinson is the guy that we have to avoid this time, which I don't love to see, but oh, getting Rudy on the drop down in the corner. That's going to be green every single time. Jump shot 21 off catch is one of those beautiful jumpers, but the problem here is guarding David Robinson is going to be a pain uh, with Mo Bamba just because he's got terrible, terrible defense, but uh, interesting sapphires in there. Look at that. David Robinson out here. Orson, but Rudy is stopping David Robinson in the paint and then snagging the rebound right there. Rudy LaRusso. MVP of the game, as he should, because he's our only opal. But let's go get it into our mans. Looks like we have Xavier McDaniel out here. Is he, is he not respecting the three-point shot after we just hit it? Do you not think we should shoot out here with Rudy? Let's do it. Chuck it. Oh, the white's not falling. We got a little confident. All right, we'll get into Killian Hayes and try to run a little bit. Actually, no, we'll just give it back to Rudy LaRusso. Um, no fancy games here there we go Rudy right to the basket and the dunk five points right there the dunk packages are looking great straight on tomahawks right there but again David Robinson is the problem in this match because Mo Bamba's strength is terrible but getting the stop right there back up to Rudy we got the fast break he's not on us that much in <laughs> the white is falling no blinders at our second quit of the game nobody wants to see Rudy LaRusso on these streets this card is just Oh, he's a maniac. All right, there we go. It's still with David Robinson, and obviously you guys can see we are in a quick little game of Triple Threat online because it was not working out unlimited. We got a ring anyway, which is what we wanted, so it all works out. And there's the green with Rudy LaRusso. Three points right there. We got some nasty dunks. We got some nice threes in limited, and now it's just time to have some fun in here guarding a Diamond Westbrook in the paint here. And David Robinson with his second steal. Rudy LaRusso on the fast break by himself. And there's the 360 spin. You love to see it. Five points for our main man out here. And Loki, he's feeling quite worth it right now. Uh, you have to put like eight pink diamonds into it, which isn't great. But for anybody that maybe rips a packs, you know, decently consistent, I actually think it's uh, quite worth it for a free Opal because I just locked in a bunch of Mark Eatons for like 8 KMT. Ah, oh, but we're gonna be missing that one. So yeah, that's my tip. Uh, maybe I'll make a breakdown video if you guys want to see of like the best method to like get rid of the Russo. If you aren't a person that opens packs, but we'll have to see. And uh, woo, woo, woo! Some uh, right Allen layups falling like crazy. And now we gotta get it back to Rudy. Oh, give me the jump, Westbrook out the way, right to the basket, and another dunk for Rudy LaRusso right by the off ball defense. You love to see it. And his defense is just going to be great, man. Stopping this Westbrook is going to be pretty easy, I think. All right, we got Rudy LaRusso. Right as I was saying, it might have been easy to play some defense on him. There we go. He scores, and oh, more whites falling. But I'm telling you, there is something about jump shot 21 that is hitting whites so much more consistently than I ever had with any other jumper. Uh, look at him running around with Westbrook. Oh, I was trying to get some chase down blocks, letting him get in there, but... It is what it is. We still got the lead right now with Rudy running it through wide open. Oh, another white. 
I'm getting a lot more whites than I normally do today. A uh, little bit rusty. Maybe we've been playing 2K too long all day, but oh, we can't get any chase down blocks. The animations Rudy's getting uh, just aren't great. He's got a good block, so I'm trying to get some of them with him, but it's not working. There we go. Cat out the... Never mind. Oh, there we go. Rudy with the steal, and we completely botched the fast break. So I'll take it out there and get the green really quick with it. 13 points and sharpshooter takeover activated. I would love if, like, shot creator was a little bit more common. It wasn't always sharpshooter. Again, can't get that chase down block. We're trying too hard for it. Um, and can't get it. Would love leg lock or anything like that, but easy greens with a sharpshooter takeover getting left way too open. Uh, next possession, we're going to have to chuck one from, like, behind half court. Uh, just for the fun of it. Uh, see what he's doing with Westbrook. Again, I want to let him into the paint so we can get some of these chase down blocks. But it's not working. Um, really at all bad shot right there. Rudy getting the board. My mans can do it. Oh, look at him go. Behind half court. Let's chuck it. And it's a green for Rudy LaRusso. The second you get a uh, sharpshooter take over the guy with off range, you are obligated to shoot it from behind half court. And if you don't, you need to stop playing 2K. Good shot. Jesus. Good shot uh, by our mans right there. Just absolutely smacking that one down. Get it back in to Rudy. Have some fun with it. Whoop. There it is. Can we use the big off dribble for the green? No, <laughs> no, we cannot. That is a, a terrible, terrible break. And I have to guard up this right Allen with the power of good soul. Let's see if he can get it. There we go. He's got the clams looking good. Didn't mean to off ball for that long, but it is what it is. Oh, <laughs> present square too much. There we go with the defense. Going to be open. Oh, power of good is back. Getting us the held ball turnover. You love to see it. Rudy the Russo again. He's not going to guard us behind half court. And we'll greet it and we're gonna smack it down man oh my god this card is fun uh, let's check out the uh, game stats just for a little bit of Rudy Russo. I don't think he really missed in any of the unlimited games that we played um, other than maybe like one or two shots which we probably were just whites that we messed up but 22 points a rebound and a steal all here in triple threat was 8 to 13 from the field a 6 to 10 from three and this card is just absolutely insane um again it does take a little bit to get him. You need, I think, 15 amethysts you have to lock in. You need four original owner pink diamonds, four pink diamonds. Um, I think 15 original owners Lakers players, and then 20 sapphire cards. So it's a lot in order to get one. Uh, but again, if you're somebody like myself who saved up a lot of free players in their reward market that were like, I had a bunch of Wayne Embrys and things like that, it's not too bad. But there are ways you can go about it to get a little bit cheaper. Hopefully, um, for some of you guys, and I can make a little video about that if you guys want to see it some uh, later today or whatever. I uh, like the video you guys did enjoy about this Rudy LaRusso. I think he is for sure worth the exchange. One of the only cards that I would actually recommend getting in there um, and see how it goes. Um, stay tuned for the videos later today. I think we have an XP1 popping up, and we had one uh, later today as well. It's going to be the best cards unlimited, so it's going to be fun. Subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that Reddit 10K subscriber. Support in the videos literally has been great. I um, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.